пилить пять. Лево десять. Стой, машина. Стой, машина. Есть лево десять. Лево набор. Есть лево набор. Руль его на бок. Назад! Назад, блядь! Назад! Даю назад! Давай, блядь! Давай, блядь! Держаться все, блядь! Сука, блядь! Лево на бок! Держаться! Борто! Восемь двадцать один! Вперед, машина четыре вперед! Лево на борт! На борту! Лево! The Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko has called together his war cabinet. It's after Russian special forces seized three Ukrainian ships in the Black Sea and fired shots. This comes after Russia stopped three Ukrainian Navy vessels from entering the Sea of Azov via the Kerch Strait. In a day of rising tensions, Moscow and Kiev officials both accuse the other side of provoking conflict. Russia says Ukraine has illegally entered its waters, while Ukraine claims Russia is illegally blocking its ships. A bilateral treaty gives both countries the right to use the waters. Relationships are tense since Russia annexed Ukraine's Crimea in 2014. The West and Kiev have accused Moscow of deliberately blocking boats from accessing Mariupol, which has vital access to heavy industry in the region. Russia has temporarily closed its territorial waters near the Crimean Peninsula after Ukrainian Navy ships entered in what is being described as a deliberate provocation. With more, here's Igor Zhidanov. Really, geography is key here. A, everything is happening, as you've just mentioned, right off the coast of the Crimean Peninsula. That is the main factor. So what's been happening is the Ukrainian naval ships have been going from the Black Sea to the Azov Sea. The shortest route is through the, the Kerch Strait. Russia, that considers Crimea, the Crimean Peninsula, its own territory since the 2014 referendum there. It also believes that the waters of the Kerch Strait are Russian too. So Russia has been citing international law, uh, the certain articles of the UN Charter, for denying the right of passage to Ukrainian ships. Have a listen. Three Ukrainian Navy vessels crossed the Russian border and illegally entered temporarily closed Russian territorial waters. They have not provided the mandatory advance notice. They are not on the shipping route schedule. They're not complying with orders and are carrying out dangerous maneuvers. The border service of the Federal Security Service of Russia is taking all necessary measures to ensure shipping route safety. Now, Ukraine, of course, never recognized Crimea as part of Russia. Therefore, it considers the waters of the Kerch Strait theirs. And so, ironically, perhaps, Kiev has been citing also the articles of the UN Charter saying that they do give them the right of passage through those waters. So right now, the situation is a bit of a stalemate, especially after a statement like this from the Kiev authorities. Contrary to the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, and the treaty between Ukraine and the Russian Federation on cooperation on the use of the Azov Sea and the Kerch Strait, Russian border ships carried out a frankly aggressive action against the vessels of the Navy of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. So right now what Russia has done, they moved in a civilian tanker over there and they just positioned it right across the strait. And so it is physically blockaded. Nobody can go through in either direction, not just these Ukrainian, not just these three Ukrainian uh, warships, but also civilian uh, vessels as well. Right now, again, it's a stalemate. The two sides are just sitting there looking at each other, just having a Sunday like that. <laughs>
Это мускилок. Ну, не летали.